Hey guys, I'm going to do a bit of a reply to a comment that I had. It's, it's weird because this particular person I've now banned from my channel. As well as you can for YouTube. YouTube, if you're like a YouTuber or YouTube creator or whatever, whatever the terminology is, it's weird. There's no block this user that, what's their terminology? Hide this user from your channel. So I don't know. Maybe this person can still see my content, but we can't see him. He can't come. Anyway, I expect a certain level of maturity in my comments. And this person just, he, he just crossed the line. And so he is now hidden from my channel, whatever the hell that means. But he asked God what I thought was a fairly valid question before he started talking about my chip to tell you. Um, he said that he has a problem shooting with a cap on because it affects him being able to see the shots. And so I'm going to talk about why I will often shoot with a cap. It's not always just because I haven't taken a shower that day and my hair's all screwed up. I started doing this because I found out that it's so hard to describe. This is not hard to describe, but it might be hard to, to demonstrate. Two eyes, move to the right, move to the left, move down, move up. I don't know if you could see any of that. It just happened. When my eyes move down, they move down the same amount. When they move to the left, the same amount, right? When they move up, they do not move up the same amount. My left eye moves up further than my right eye. I don't know if this has anything to do with the LASIK that I had in my right eye several years ago, or if I'm just some type of genetic freak. I, I honestly don't know. But I did a lot of experimentation. And, and... If I, if I was way out on the shot, which I kind of tended to start to be, like especially as I got older, so I'm, I'm looking up. My eyes are rolling up, kind of looking past my eyebrows at the shot. And just some days, well, some days I sucked. And I did some experiments and stuff, and I'd have a mirror... And I would get down, I would look up the mirror and close, you know, cover this eye, cover this eye. They're different. They are different. I basically can't be having my head that low and rolling my eyes up to see the shot because my eyes don't roll up the same amount. I don't know if any of that made any sense. One of the things I've done to hopefully fix that. Well, at first, at first I tried, okay, just don't lower your head as much, Dave. You just, just keep it up. Keep your head up a little bit. Don't be down here and rolling your eyes up so much. Be, and sometimes I'd have to just want to do that, sometimes I would. I put on a hat, a cap, I guess this is, this is a cap, then it forces me to do that. I wear this way up like like my hairline i can if i roll my eyes up i can barely see the bill but it's enough to keep me from going all the way down on the cube i have to be up i have to tilt my head up this forcing me to do that if if not this would be the bill would be in the way of me being able to see the shot so well, my, you know, my, my commenter was like, you know, it affects my vision. He was talking about it in a bad way. For me, I'm talking about it, it, it's making me do something that I needed to do. I needed to crane my neck up a little bit and be up off the cue a little bit because my vision wasn't working the way it's supposed to work. Just 
just wasn't. And you know, now I guess it is. If I screw up and even with a, even with a hat on, I was going to freeze that rip. Even with a hat on, if I forget and go up and go down too far, the bill of my cap is in the way. Now I can't see the shot when I'm all the way down. So this is forcing me to raise up and crane my neck up a little bit. When I first started having to do this, it was pretty un uncomfortable. I have to crane my neck up was not something I'd been doing for the last 40 years. Got to be like a little bit sore. Had to do that all the time. Well, luckily, I guess I, I adapted or whatever. It's not a problem for me anymore. Just a, a couple of little silly things about caps and pool. I'm wearing mine more or less like a normal person. What I'm not doing is this. And what I'm not doing is this. Hey, I'm too old for this bullshit right now. But I'm reminded of what actually my dad told me a million years ago. He, 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 was, he was being funny. But if you have your cap on backwards, it's so you're more aerodynamic when you're running from the cops. If you have your hat on sideways, it's because you may get low jobs in the parking lot. So I don't do that. I just wear it like a normal person. It is up a little bit. It's not all the way down here. It, it it's up. It's up a little bit to get it as close to being out of my frame of vision as possible. That's just. That's just me. I believe that putting on a ball cap like this has helped me with this issue where my two eyes, when I roll them up, they don't roll up the same amount. That was, well, surprising and annoying, but I'm, I'm glad I was able to find a fairly easy solution for it. Well, that ball's gonna come all the way back here to Mars. I hate it when they do that. I hate it when they come to Mars. I'm gonna shoot that again. Then I'm gonna walk over there and get my other prop. I was gonna have three props for this video. And the third prop is gonna be one of those pull ones. I own one, but I don't know where it is. I don't use one. And I have opinions about the gloves. And, and a lot of people that wear the gloves and the reasons that a lot of the people wear the gloves. But I couldn't find it. So you, you guys get spared that particular ranting from me. The other prop will probably be unexpected. Ah, uh, did you guys expect that? I don't know if you or not. These are just like safety goggles for woodworking and stuff like that, but they're they're orange tinted, and they're basically they basically block blue light. They're not marketed as like blue blocker. Like I think there's a brand of sunglasses called blue blockers, but but they do that anyway. And I do not wear these in public or even down here very often. But I found it very interesting that when I had these on, besides all of the colors being a little bit weird, I can see much more sharply with these on than without. What I have heard and read and all that is that blue light scatters more easily than anything else. In, in our visual spectrum. One of the reasons that the sky is blue because that blue light is just scattering all over the place and then finally going into our eyeballs. What I have found is that when I have these on, 
I can see the edges of these balls better, more clearly, more sharply than I can see them right now. I just flat out can. I like shooters glasses have this type of a, of a deal where they, they try to block blue light but make those edges sharper. And this absolutely makes edge, edges sharper for me. I, I can see more clearly. He said these lenses don't distort, at least not that I know of. So everything is still in the same line and not, there's no fishbowl effect or anything like that. I find it weird that because apparently blue light is like the worst kind of light, I guess, if you want to see sharply. Why is the cloth blue? I don't know the answer to that question. I did not, they didn't ask me. I don't, does that mean that like orange cloth would be the best? God, I hope not. Because I'm not going to get orange cloth. I just, I find this very interesting though that the difference, it, it's almost like before I got the LASIK, I, you know, I would wear glasses. The difference is almost as strong. Putting these on, being able to see, taking them off, man, can't see quite as well. It's almost the same thing as back in the olden days when I would have my glasses on and take them off. That's it. I couldn't play pool with my glasses on, if you should wonder, um, because I was always looking up over the frames. That's why I got laced. One of the reasons I got laced. But I think this is kind of interesting, and it, I guess a, a side benefit for the way I'm dressed up right now is that I'm in a total disguise right now. Hey, I look, you know, I look like a dork with the hat or with the, the glasses. I probably look younger having a hat on. You can't see how much my hairline is receded. So, like in the in the days of of the internet now, where Anybody walks into a pool room, somebody else could be Googling them. They go, oh man, he's a you know, Fargo 750 or whatever the hell he is. Now I'm in disguise. So that is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I'm not particularly worried about that part of it. But these are, for me, just like a novelty. I'm not, no, I'm not going to go out in the public wearing stuff like this. I'm not Earl. I don't have the confidence that Earl has to go out wearing goggles like this. I just don't. But a cap? Yeah, because it absolutely is helping me. Take take the cap off. I I fall into my old habits of dropping and looking up. Looking up like this at, at the shot. And again, my eyes don't go up the same amount. So my vision gets screwed up at that point. I don't like having screwed up vision any more than I always have screwed up vision. And that's just part of being old, I believe. And so that is that. And I'm looking for my remote. It's my remote. Questionable fashion advice from Dave, yours truly. And I guess that's it. I don't have the glove. I was going to demonstrate the glove and yammer about the, the glove. But maybe that's good that I couldn't find it because I might have gotten some death threats if I said anything bad ever about the glove. Thanks, guys.